going to be talking about soaps again today. It's like the Dirty Bubbles pop-up shop because we can't have one. It's okay. Welcome to the Dirty Bubbles live event. Come on in. Check out our soap. You won't regret it. Hi, Betty. Welcome. Oh, yeah, I can hear the delay. Today we've got soap. Wow. We're gonna have some soap fun. Hi Betty, Kirby. Welcome to the Dirty Bubbles live event. We're going to give everyone just a moment to come on in. Come on, join in. Today we have... Hi, Dale. Welcome. We have 14 soaps to talk about. It's going to be great. And then more extra soap, like this. What is that? Ah, oh, it smells great. What a great soap. Isn't it great? It is. Okay. And also this. No, it's not cheese. It's soap. Fragrance free. Everything else free color free. Natural colors. Okay, well. If you're just joining us, we have some important announcements. Our new fragrance-free and color-free soap will be released on Monday, April 6th. This soap was made with organic olive oil, coconut oil, palm oil, cocoa butter, sweet almond oil, and castor oil. There are no fragrances or colors. It's all natural, baby. And it smells darn good. I can smell the cocoa butter, which is very pleasant. Also, our new goat's milk soap will be released Monday, April 6th. This soap was made with all organic ingredients, uh, olive oil, coconut, palm, cocoa butter, sweet almond, and castor oil. It's fragranced with French vanilla silk and fresh brewed coffee. It's the best part of waking up. Um, we also added poppy seeds for exfoliation. And boy, did they get the job done. They do. I've used it. It's great. We also have plenty of other soaps not featured in this episode, but you can find them online anytime at DirtyBubblesSoap.com. Thanks for joining in to the program, to the Dirty Bubbles live event. All right. Well, since there's so many
many people here now. <laughs> We're going to go ahead. Oh, also, also announcements. Um, we've got a solid shampoo and conditioner bars that will be released at the end of the month. So you don't want to miss out on that because they're fabulous. Um, all the soaps we're going to be presenting today uh, are four ounces and they cost four dollars. So wow, what a steal. And all of our soaps are made with organic ingredients. The first soap we have, number one, and if you'd like to order it, just go ahead and um, Type a number one in the comments section. We'll send you an invoice uh, via PayPal. And if you order two or more soaps, you get a free loofah slice. They're great. You can use it as a soap holder. I don't know if you can wash with it, but you can try. So we're going to start with number one, Autumn Leaves. Hi, Jocelyn. Um, and this is a beautiful soap. <laughs> They're all beautiful, it smells magnificent. Uh, made with our base recipe, that's the organic olive, coconut, palm, sweet almond, and castor oil. Uh, the fragrance is called Autumn Wreath, and it smells very autumn-y. Um, the fragrance notes are pear, apple, peach, coconut, cinnamon, clove, nutmeg, vanilla, cedar, musk, woods, any woods, pine, and autumn leaves. And we have about five left in stock, so you're gonna wanna get in on that. They're adorable. You will get them before autumn. They have cute little embeds and fun stuff. You're so far away. You're so far. Just grab it, reach out and grab it. Okay, so that's, we've got autumn leaves. That's number one. If you like it, go ahead and type in a number one. We'll send you an invoice so you can you can have it. It can be yours for $4. Yes, and if you have any questions, let Dirty Bubble Soap know in the background there. Okay, so number two is Flower Petal. Again, made with our base recipe. It's got beautiful, dainty details, delicate swirls, lovely colors. Smells magnificent, as they all do. Oh, yeah fragranced with black raspberry and vanilla. So the fragrance notes are lemon, raspberry, black raspberry, strawberry, coconut, peach, violet, honeysuckle, plum blossoms, and musk, and vanilla. <laughs> and uh, well, hi everyone. Um, Maya? Oh, hi Maya. Um, yeah, there's four left in stock if you like those. Go ahead, order it, type in number two in the comments and we'll get it out to you right away. Beautiful details, made with love. And the third soap we have, Halloween Delight. I think we made it known last time it's never too early for Halloween to prepare so um, this is actually a six ounce bar and it, um, it's on the website under aesthetically challenged soaps. They're beautiful and fabulous just like all the other soaps but a little ugly. <laughs> Got some cute little piping sparkly black details on top. I don't know if you guys can see the, the sparkle but it's really cool in person. You should definitely check it out. That's number three. Um, the bar was made with our base recipe and fragranced with pumpkin roll fragrance oil. That's a pumpkin roll. <laughs> and some of the notes of the fragrance um, are sugar pumpkin, orange, sweet butter, cinnamon, nutmeg, maple, and vanilla. We've got about seven of those. Deep blurple. Um, Swirl <laughs> is made with our base recipe, and the fragrance is cedar wood. Some of the fragrance notes it's blue and purple, see, 
Uh, some of the fragrance notes are warm, earthy scents of cedar uh, with base notes of vanilla and musk. I'd say that's accurate. Okay, so if you like deep blurple swirl, that's number six. Go ahead and type a number six in the comments. It's got a little glittery gold shimmer on top, just a little teensy touch. And there's more pictures of this soap on um, Instagram and probably on the Dirty Bubbles Facebook page, but for sure Instagram. Um, and that's number six. And now number seven is the gold frankincense and myrrh made with our base recipe and hemp oil. Um, the fragrance, uh, it's fragranced with frankincense and myrrh, a uh, fragrance oil, and the notes in here are myrrh, patchouli, herbaceous woodsy pine, sheer musk, vanilla, and floral lilac notes. And we have eight of these left. If you like them, give it a try. Type in number seven. It's got little sparkly, don't know if you can see it, sea salt on top. Very pretty, very pretty little details. Am I gonna snap? Can you see it? All right, so if you like that one, it's number seven. Give it a go, give it a try. Yes, Maya? Well, we're in the soap room it's for soap only. No cats allowed. They try though. All right, and number eight is Riptide. Um, it was made with our base recipe. We use the fragrance Clean Breeze. Ah, I feel like I'm at the seaside. Um, and some of the fragrance notes for this one are fruity, it's a fruity floral blend of peach, watermelon, neroli, jasmine, and musk. So there's lots of little swirly details, purple, blue, white, all swirled in there so much better in person you really should check it out and that is number eight if you're interested in that go ahead and type in a number eight in the comments which one was deep purple that's number six deep purple betty for you okay with the swirly pretty golden shimmer and we're going to go ahead and go on to number nine, which is the dragon's egg. It's got some little scales on top. It's got a dragon's egg. Beautiful, wonderful smell um, made with our base recipe. And we added avocado oil because um, that's necessary and great extra special stuff. Um, the fragrance we used is patchouli. The fragrance notes are patchouli. So, um, oh, number six for Dale. All right, oh, deep purple, cool. Hey, you're gonna love it, Dale. Um, so, where are we? Oh, dragon's egg, patchouli. There's plenty of these left, so. And the colors are very nice when you see them in person. Nice shimmery, iridescent top. Little dragon scales, plenty of those. Fits good in the hand. We've been using one as hand soap lately in the kitchen, and it's very, um, very nice. Good hard bar, lasts a long time. Um, so yeah. On to number 10, Lily's Inspiration. That's my daughter, Lily. She was the inspiration. Got lots of cute little swirly swirls. It's a nice delicate looking soap. Little texture on the top, little bit of swirls, swirly everywhere, dripping, dipping down. Okay, and for Lily's inspiration, it was made with our base recipe, fragranced with rosemary mint fragrance oil. Um, and some of the fragrance notes of this soap are the homegrown garden rosemary mingling with cool peppermint and spearmint. Oh yeah, that's nice. You can smell all of those things in there. And that is number 10. If you like it, go ahead, type on in a number 10 in there. It can be yours for $4. And next we're going to the Whimsical Illusion. 
Okay, made with our base recipe, fragrance with the mango papaya fragrance oil. And if anyone has like any other soap with mango papaya or the lotion, um, uh, mango papaya fragrance lotion, you already know, just a magical smell. So that would go great together, the soap and the lotion. The lotions are amazing. Um, and some of the fragrance notes are fresh mangoes and papaya. We've only got a few left of these, so number 11, if you want it. I'll try to get you a little bit more. Can you see it? All right, and we're going to head on into number 12, Fallen In. Made with our base recipe and candied apple fragrance oil. Um, the fragrance notes are juicy apples, sweet plums, ripened strawberries, lime, and orange zest. And we've got 10 of those left, 10 of number 12. Get it all top, top, top. And, oh, here we go, Murky Streams. This is another soap, number 13 that is in the aesthetically challenged section on the Dirty Bubbles website uh, where you can order more awesome soaps. And if you take a look, you might see why. <laughs> it's made with our base recipe, same as all the others, but it just isn't the prettiest soap. That's okay. Um, oh, the fragrance is sage leaf. Very nice sage uh, leaf fragrance. And the fragrance notes are fresh herbal sage leaves. Fresh herbal sage leaves. You say it. It's hard. Okay, and it smells like those. So that's number 13, if you like it. There's green, there's green in there. There's orange, kind of a yellowy color, and gray. <laughs> and last but not least, Pumpkin Pie Heaven. I'm not a fan of pumpkin pie, but it's my mom's favorite. Um, so no surprise, she made it. Beautiful little soap there. <laughs> it costs extra. <laughs> and no, we don't sell used soaps. Okay, so there's the Pumpkin Pie Heaven made with our base recipe and we added cocoa butter. Uh, the fragrance oil is pumpkin roll and nutmeg, and some of the fragrance notes are sweet sugar pumpkin puree spiced with hints of cinnamon and nutmeg, layered onto a warm sweet butter crust drizzled with maple and honey. Yep, that's it. <laughs> okay. And that is number 14. If you like the pumpkin pie heaven, let's go ahead and type a 14 in the comments. And we'll get it right out to you. Um, so we're just gonna go through one more time, let you guys know what everything is and what the number is. So we have number one, autumn leaves. <laughs> Got some little leaf embeds in there, some little cute stuff. That's number one, autumn leaves, scented with autumn wreath fragrance. Number two is flower petal, made with our base recipe, with black raspberry and vanilla fragrance. It's number two, did I say one? It's number two. <laughs> number one, autumn leaves. Number two, flower petal. Am I holding it long enough? Can you guys see it? Goodness. The bottom. Okay, number three, Halloween Delight. It's actually a six ounce bar, um, fragranced with pumpkin roll fragrance oil. And it is delightful. And it's hard to see the little swirly orange and white details, but um, they're really cute. I don't know why it's in the aesthetically challenged section. I like it. 
and it's got the sparkly black frosting on top. Can't go wrong. Okay, so that was number three, Halloween Delight. Number four is the turmeric and lemongrass. Oh, Pam, I love the cocoa butter too. Anything that has it in there, you can smell the cocoa butter and it smells good. And the one, is it this one? That doesn't have fragrance, but it has cocoa butter. You can smell it, it's just really nice. Um, so, sorry. Uh, number four, turmeric and lemongrass, base recipe, and scented with lemongrass essential oil. I was gonna smell this one the whole time. Number four, number five is the marigold. Um, with colloidal oatmeal for good moisturizing properties. Oh, you love it, Case? Awesome. Um, you know, it's got sprinkled marigold petals. There's only five left. Um, and it's fragranced uh, with oatmeal, milk, and honey fragrance oil. So check that one out. Let's see what time it is. Plenty of time. Okay, then we've got number six, Deep Blurple. Deep Blurple Swirl. Swirly. Swirling around. Number five is Marigold, Pam. Ah. Yeah, okay, so Deep Blurple, um, fragrance with cedar wood made with our base recipe. Number seven, Gold, Frankincense, and Myrrh. made with base recipe and hemp oil um, and fragrance with fragrance and myrrh essential oil. It's got the little sea salt on top because it's fun. It's happy little sprinkles. Number seven. Number eight is Riptide made with our base recipe and clean breeze fragrance oil. And it's a nice one. It's not like dryer sheet clean breeze. It's like, I'm at the ocean clean breeze. Um, and that's number eight. If you want to grab onto that, type a number eight in the comments. Dragon's egg, made with our base recipe and avocado oil, fragranced with patchouli fragrance oil. Comes with your very own dragon guy. We do have bombs, Joss, but I don't know if we're selling them. Oh, we have some. Oh, this is the bath bomb press. It presses stuff into bath bombs. Are there bath bombs in this bag? see any bad yeah, I, I just told her I'm gonna make this something special. Oh, aw, okay. Alright, so I think we're on Whimsical, no, Lily's Inspiration. <laughs> and that's number 10, made with our base recipe and rosemary mint fragrance oil. Cute little colors. Yeah. 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 Little swirls. It's a nice hard bar too. Mm, it really is rosemary and mint. The mint is nice. You can you can smell it. It's a good one. I, I kind of want that one. Um, all right, and that is number 10. Number 11 was the Whimsical Illusion made with our base recipe, fragrance with mango papaya fragrance oil. Number 10. Nope. Number 11. <laughs> number 11. Okay, number 12, Fallen In, made with our base recipe in candied apple fragrance oil. Very cool top, if I do say so myself. Definitely smells like apples. And our aesthetically challenged, number 13, Murky Streams. 
you guys can see the colors in there. It's hard to, it's murky. The name is, is true, They're, we're not lying. Murky Streams. Made with the base recipe and fragranced with sage leaf fragrance oil. And last but not least is the pumpkin pie heaven. Don't eat it. But if you do, record it. No. Um, <laughs> made with our base recipe and pumpkin roll and nutmeg fragrance oil. Smells good enough to eat, but don't. And for anyone who wasn't here in the beginning, if you were late, we've got some announcements. Um, our new fragrance-free and color-free soap, this soap here, Zero fragrance, zero color. Well, I mean, it has a color, but it's all natural. Um, will be released on Monday, April 6th. Um, and it was made with all organic olive oil, coconut oil, palm oil, cocoa butter, sweet almond oil, and castor oil. It's delightful. It's got a nice creamy texture. It smells natural. You do get that little hint of cocoa butter. All right, <laughs> and um, so that'll be available. So it's at next Monday, April 6th. So check uh, the website, dirtybubbles.com to, you know, see it, get it, love it, live it. And also our new goat's milk soap. Goat's milk soap, if you guys have never tried it, this is the one to try. We also threw some poppy seeds in there for exfoliation and I've been using this one and I love it. Um, I had never tried goat's milk soap until my mom made some and I was like, well, I only want to ever use dirty, dirty bubbles, dirty bubbles, um, goat's milk soap for the rest of my life. It's amazing. It makes my skin feel so smooth and soft and fabulous. So that's what this is. Um, the poppy seeds are not too scratchy. It's nice if you don't like it. If you don't want to exfoliate, you could throw it in one of the, what are they called? Bags? The bags. Mom. Yeah? What are the bags called? What? The bags. What are they called? What bags? The bags that we put in the soap, the soap into. Oh, uh, um, sorry, organza. Organza. <laughs> Thank you. You can throw it in an organza bag that you get one um, when you order the soap. Just comes in there with it. Um, you can toss it in an organza bag. That also helps with the foamy, you know, making some bubbles. But um, you can buy this one and the fragrance free, color free uh, soap Monday, April 6th, guys, Pam. Um, so for this goat's milk soap, obviously there is color. Um, and it's made with all organic olive oil, coconut, palm, cocoa butter, sweet almond oil, and castor oil. And it's fragranced with vanilla silk and fresh brewed coffee fragrance oil. And you've got some poppy seeds in there. I don't know if you can see them. Um, for exfoliation. And just a little shimmery gold shimmer on top. And this is the one I've been using since I used up all the other goat's milk soap. And, uh... It's fabulous. Yes, definitely smell. You can smell the coffee more than the vanilla, but the vanilla's in there. Um, so if you like the smell of coffee, which who doesn't, <laughs> this is the one for you. So both of these will be available on the website and we'll probably make an announcement uh, Monday, April 6th. So fragrance and color free goat's milk with poppy seeds. Get them while you can. And um, we wanted to just show you guys a few other soaps that um, you can go to the website and check out. Because you say, you guys, we love these soaps, but what else do you have? Well, you just hold on to your horses because you're about to find out. This just in. 
<laughs> we are going to be playing a a game. Do you want to play a game? You know, from Saw. We're not playing the Saw game. Calm down. We're going to play a word game. Um, it's contest, and whoever wins gets... What do they get? Hey, Mom. What? What do they get if they win? Um, it's our new, um, newly released um, natural deodorant. Oh, yeah, yeah. And if you win, it's you get... What? It's on your sheet. Oh. And then you get a deodorant. No, I don't see it. Hold on. Yeah, no, I don't have it. Hold on one second. So, some other soaps we have. We'll get to the game in a minute. <laughs> Um, that are available on the website are these here. So these, Monday the 6th, hang in there. These soaps, these delightful little doodads here, you can find on the website. You can find the pricing and the fragrance. I can't smell them. They're wrapped up. They stay nice and fresh and this fabulous. This was supposed to go with it. Thank you. Sorry. Breaking news. No. Um, so, <laughs> and you can, yeah, you can find the names, the ingredients, everything. Much better, clearer pictures so you can see all the fun little details. But just wanted to give you guys, show you a little example. Maybe if it's a fancier soap, you could give us a gift to yourself. You matter. There we go. That little cutie pie there. Which one, Betty? Pink or blue? Some of these soaps here, these four, um, are from, actually we made a special chakra collection and they all have crystals on them. Um, I think with the citrine chakra, the solar plexus chakra, sold out first, um, and that was with orange, it was fragrance with orange soda pop. That's a good one, it's amazing. So um, what we have left from the chakra collection are uh, the lapis lazuli crystals, rock stones, whatever you wanna call them, um, this blue one, and you can't see it underneath the label, but it's a beautiful swirl design. I, that's like one of my favorites. This one and the um, amethyst, just beautiful design. Um, again, better pictures on the website, so if you want to check that out. And then, and so that's for the throat chakra. And you save the little crystals, so you save your rocks. Who doesn't love rocks? Um, and we've got the red jasper crystals for the base chakra soap. Again, go ahead. It's our base recipe. You can check it out on the um, website. Oh, this is fragrance with sage leaf. This one is rosemary mint. That's such a good smell, too. Um, this brow chakra. Brow chakra. It's got amethyst crystals on it. Um, Fragrance with patchouli. That's enough. That has a beautiful swirl on there. And crown chakra with real garnet and scented with black licorice fragrance oil. That's one of my favorites, I think. I don't like black licorice, but I like the smell of the black licorice fragrance oil in the soap. So. Then we've also got this, I forget what it's called, mermaid something, mermaid tail. You can find it on the website. That's a, a bigger bar, it's a nice hefty one. It's got some cute little confetti in there. It's got a little mermaid tail, mermaid scales, it's beautiful. It smells delightful, as they all do. Go ahead and if you like that one, check it out on the website. 
just another magnificent soap, bright, vivid, dazzling colors, topped with sea salt. Pam, just letting you know, Pam was just mentioning um, the lotions and uh, things like that. So if you want to, just go ahead and grab one of those uh, bottles of lotion. Okay. And then uh, the shampoo bar and this, because this is coming out, like you mentioned in the beginning, it's going to come out at the um, end of the month. That's conditioner? Yeah. Okay. Christmas soap. It doesn't have to be Christmas. It could almost be kind of nautical, but with like red instead of blue, right? It smells like peppermint. It smells amazing. Nice hard bar soap. It'll last you 10,000 years. Check it out. Head over to DirtyBubbles.com. And I'll be sending this Galaxy soap to a very special someone named Brad very soon. You can't see it through the wrapper. You have to go to the website to see what's underneath because it's very pretty. Yes, Pam, people should see in person just how magnificent they are. Thank you. Well, unfortunately, we wouldn't be doing the Facebook Live if we could go to our events. <laughs> you know that we're canceled. Yep. So, we'll show you the lotion. Oh, right here. Uh, shampoo. We can just do that one. Shampoo. Or that. Yep. Okay. And conditioner. Okay. We have, oh, God, cucumber melon lotion. So this is our lotion, hand and body lotion. Jocelyn, I don't know what the mermaid scent one is. Um, this one's not labeled, it's just wrapped. But if you go on the website, it'll have all the information. Um, what the, I think this one's just the base recipe. I don't think we added any like avocado or hemp oil or anything like that. Um, actually, me and my mom did a challenge, so we had all this extra soap confetti and um, it's the same confetti in the pink part here as is in this soap which was like a gradient of confetti you know so we did a little mother-daughter soap challenge that's how these came about um, I always I always think it's licorice I can't smell it through the wrapping but I don't think it's licorice I think it's something else but um, it's a nice good big hard bar soap Little mermaid tail. So the cucumber melon lotion, hand and body, don't put it on your face. Um, it's got that like classic, you know, cucumber melon fragrance. Which I don't see as much anymore as back in the day, you know. Like at Bath and Body Works. Uh, do they still have it? I don't know because I have all the Bath and Body Works I need. Um, but it's a fabulous lotion. Goes on nice and smooth. I <laughs> prefer the peppermint because I'm just a peppermint girl. Uh, we also have is that black raspberry vanilla and mango papaya. Um, fragrance lotions and they're all the same formula, just a different fragrance. They go on nice and smooth and thick and wonderful. And what I like about the peppermint is, um, like especially on my legs, sometimes if you start to like get kind of warm or hot, it's like a cool, cooling sensation. Um, and that's very refreshing. It would be really good like in the summertime. So uh, if you like that kind of stuff, get in, get in on it. It's good. Um, so this is one of our solid shampoo bars. Is that available now? I'm sorry, Mom. When's the shampoo coming? Uh, the end of the month, oh. Oh, near the end of April. Okay, so this is the solid shampoo bar, and it's got little nubs to help with the suds. And, oh, that's nice. Oh, apple explosion. I'm like, what is it? It's apple explosion because I smell the peppermint. But, um, oh, that's a beautiful fragrance. You use the shampoo bars 
they're wonderful and they smell good when you're using them they don't leave crazy smells in your hair or residue or anything like that they rinse away so nice and clean um, and here's like one of our conditioner bars easy to hold easy to put in your hair yeah they do last a really long time um, so those will be coming soon shampoo conditioner okay and I'm gonna go over a few more things and then we'll get to our dirty bubble soap word game and you can win a free deodorant oh my gosh I use the deodorant and I was never a oh I gotta use all natural deodorant but I started to and I like the smell but it didn't work very well and now that we have this deodorant the dirty bubbles deodorant um, I'll never use another deodorant ever again it's amazing it smells great it works great it's just the perfect natural deodorant um, so you should definitely try to win it for this word game and um, mom can you type in the word so they can see it too okay so I'm just gonna go over the announcements real quick one more time and then we'll get started on the word game so our new fragrance and color free soap will be released next Monday April 6th made with all organic olive oil coconut oil palm oil cocoa butter sweet almond oil and castor oil no fragrances no colors Ah, it smells good. You can smell a little hint of the um, cocoa butter. <laughs> My personal favorite, the goat's milk soap. Also, will be available for purchase Monday, April 6th. Uh, made with all the same organic olive oil, coconut oil, palm oil, cocoa butter, sweet almond oil, and castor oil. Fragranced with vanilla silk and fresh brewed coffee. Poppy seeds tossed in there for some exfoliation and they're not hard or scratchy they're like round they're actually kind of tickly when I wash my hands with it it tickles a little bit so it's not gonna scratch or scrape you but if you don't really want that much exfoliation or whatever you can toss it in one of the um the bags <laughs> and, um that'll help also helps with the the lather so um, then the solid shampoo and conditioner this is shampoo, conditioner, coming at the end of April. Um, all the soaps, all of the 14 soaps we talked about earlier are 4 ounces and $4. All these other awesome soaps and many more um, are available on the website, dirtybubblesoap.com. So check that out. And we are going to go ahead and get started. We're going to play a game. So you, um, Dirty Bubbles Soap is going to be commenting the word, um, the letters. You have one minute, it's like a word scramble, and you have one minute to make as many words as you can. Um, type your words in the comment section, but don't hit enter until we say stop. Um, and the winner will receive our new Dirty Bubbles Natural Deodorant. Uh, which is going to be released on April 20th and we will ship it out to the winner on that date uh, The dirty bubbles natural soap natural <laughs> dirty bubble soap natural deodorant comes in a two ounce paperboard push-up tube That is recyclable compostable and biodegradable uh, It's aluminum and paraben free and we are offering three fragrances at this time coconut lime verbena vanilla silk and lemongrass, which is my favorite, or you can get unscented. Still works just the same. Um, so each word has to be, hi Paige, we're gonna play a game, a word scramble game. Each word has to be three letters or more, um, and you've got one minute to make as many words as you can. So, Dirty Bubble Soap, when you're ready, go ahead and type the word in there. And do you have a timer? Because we're on a lag. Yep. 
Okay. And we're gonna get started. All right, whenever you're ready, Dirty Bubble Soap, AKA Mom. And here we go. I don't see the word. You don't see the word yet? Okay. And here we go. <laughs> here we go. I don't. I see it says hi page and then it says okay. All right. Well, if you guys see it, go ahead and start typing your words. <laughs> I'm gonna grab a couple more silks while you're typing. Okay, but it is there? Well, it was there, but now I'm just waiting for it to refresh. Oh. That's been a minute, but I don't know if everybody's... Hold on a second. Okay. Gonna bring out a few more soaps to show you guys because they're so cool. Now these are bigger bars than some of the other ones. <laughs> you can see. Okay, tell them to stop. Okay, stop. And hit enter. And hit enter. I just want to see if your stuff comes up because it's a, a big time lag. Okay. We're experiencing some technical difficulties. If you saw the word and started typing words that you made from that word, go ahead and press enter now. And that word is saponification, if you weren't sure. Saponification. Is it doing it? Yeah, I'm like barely seeing anything, so. It might just be my thing. Oh no! Jennifer says the word never showed up for her. Yeah, I, I didn't see it either. <laughs> Maybe we can do like a quiz thing next time. Uh, yeah, I think so. All right, well, while you guys are figuring that out, <laughs> just want to show you a few more of the soaps that you can find online. Cloudy Morning, I believe. Again, a bit of a bigger bar than the others. Head to the website to find out all the details. Oh. Fragrances. I forget. <laughs> Recipes, all that fun stuff. Yes, that is a dolphin. Dolphin Escapades. This is a five ounce bar. These are, you know, four ounce bars. Oh, a little bit thinner. There we go. And this one is very, I mean, it's extra, honey. So <laughs> if you like that extra soap, this is, this will do it. This will do it for you. Does it get any cooler than that? It doesn't. You got marshmallows, you got sprinkles, you got whipped cream. You got a straw. 
<laughs> it's a real straw and those are real sprinkles. Ah, smells delicious. This one was from our soap contest, um, name the soap contest. It's hard to see the little details, but it's got a little golden mica line. This one also has poppy seeds. Does this one have avocado in it? You'll have to go to the website to find out, see what's in this recipe. Um, good, nice, hard, wonderful bar soap. Hey, what was this one? Oh, that's the one that, um, it's from the name your soap, but what did it get yeah, named? Yeah, Pixie Parfait. Pixie Parfait. Yeah. All right. That was a cute one. It was. Um, so Jennifer uh, Wigglesworth on there was saying that she did not see the word. Yep, I didn't either. You, that is so weird because other people did. So if anybody, I know you can hear me, this is Tony in the background. Can't come around, the, the room is kind of small here. But um, uh, if you did not see the word, please text it, or please text me and let me know. I'll do a little something special for you. I'll see what I can do. Uh, but in the meantime, with the people that did respond, it looks like Charlene won. <gasps> so, Congratulations, Charlene! Yay! And Charlene, I think you are really going to love this deodorant. It really is excellent. I'm wearing it right now. Yeah, it's very good. So, and Ash, I think it's uh, just about time. It's about time to say goodbye, guys. So, if you liked any of these soaps, you want to just order it easy. Um, I'm going to invoice them through PayPal. They gave a number. Yep, you get invoiced through PayPal if you wrote down a number. Four ounces, four dollars, any of the other... Um, Larger, a little more intricate soaps, go ahead and go on to the um, Dirty Bubbles soap website. Check out everything about it from there. And uh, yeah, and if you have any questions about any of the products, um, any of the soaps, please don't hesitate to just text me through Facebook and um, I'll answer any of your questions. Um, and I can't wait for the end of the month. We got a lot of good stuff coming out. I think you're going to love it. So. And we plan on doing these Facebook Lives for a while because, like I said before, all of our events have been canceled and it's really hard to get the word out about Dirty Bubble Soap without going to events. So, And if you want us to shout out your business in the next episode, <laughs> send, send a, a letter, send a message. <laughs> anyway, spread the word about Dirty Bubble Soap. Um, it would be greatly appreciated and thank you so, so much for joining tonight. It's always a lot of fun. Um, have a great night. Stay healthy and safe and wash those hands. Wash your hands. <laughs> 20 seconds. Bye, guys. Love you. Bye. You have to hit it, Mike. All right. I have to hit it. I don't know where to hit it. Nope. Down at the bottom.